good. We have another dimple there. Fill that up. That's like a little hill. That's fine. Hills are good. Fill up these dimples. They usually, um, you usually see them along coastlines. Um, that's just how the map generator sort of works sometimes. It's not perfect. Hey, Silent Dragon, how you doing? So I'm actually working on a different map now, but I decided to put the Honolulu command in today just so that you guys can have a look at that, if you want to. I don't think there's any dimples here. Um, these are just height differences that are interesting to look at. Overall, it's quite a flat map. Of course, there's the mountain there. Um, but there are some height differences, so it'll be interesting to see how it goes when we um, start popping roads and all that. Um, let's fill in these as well. Um, on the search for more dimples. I should probably break this off as well, yeah. Make sure there is some water flow. I'm already starting to think of where I want to put my water sources. I want to make this a little bit more jagged, I think, because it looks very clean now. It doesn't really matter because it will look very different once it's filled with water. Those oh! <laughs> <laughs> the Jigmeister says, oh, it, the message doesn't completely show. Uh, it says, only one for top. I always do two sounds better, like the two of us, Kappa. Also, hi, Lau. Hey, Jig. How you doing? Have fun watching some Dota Whoop. My god, these people. I keep thinking the police is after me. Make some steeper, steeper cliffs. I mean, it's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can still play with this after the, after you put water sources in and all that. Shall we have one area for a nice beach? Then I can show you how to make beaches as well. Be quite fun. This should be a little bit steeper there. I don't want to, uh, I don't want it to slope off just into the ocean um, as a, like a beach thing. I just want it to be a little bit like cliffs here. So we can have a water source here. Um, I'm actually thinking of filling up this crazy hole I made there. That kind of looks organic, not really. Um, cool, I can have a small water source there, pumping out water this way. This still looks a little bit... Um, Clicking away. Can you make me my own private island? This will be. Wait, there was a tiny island, wasn't there? This can be your own private island. Yes, one house. I'm doing well, Jake. Thanks for asking. That bit you just broke up was actually a man-made barrier, and it's where the A5, Roman Road that goes all the way down to London, and A55, North Wales Expressway, cross onto Holy Island. Hashtag educational. Keep them facts coming, uh, Jesse. I, I really enjoy those. It's always nice to know, like, what's where in the real world. Of course we can make that a road again, if we want to. Of course this is not realistic, this is not actually what it looks like, but it will make for an interesting map, and that's what's 
important. Not the most important, of course. If you really want it to look realistic, then you should definitely um, have a look at some height maps yourself and um, on Google Earth and try and approximate what it looks like. Um, I was thinking of doing a nice sandy beach area here. Um, that means I'm going to use my smooth tool. And I'm just going to smooth this down. Make sure there's no cliffs. We can have a nice beach area in Wales to go to the beach with the lovely weather that we have there. Um, so that looks better. This will hopefully still, I mean, it won't flood if I make sure my um, sea level is low enough. It just makes it easier to place nice beaches because the water will not just stop at the edge like it will there, but will kind of flow onto the beach a little bit. So that's going to be our nice beach area right there. Cool. So I think we have the outlines of our map now. Buildable area is quite big. There are several tiles that are just completely made up of water, so that's sort of like tough luck for everyone who plays with a 25 um, tile mod. Prime lazy fiend steak. Don't eat lazy. Don't do that. Hey Chaz, happy birthday! It's your birthday, isn't it? Yes, I am terraforming. I am working off of an uh, Anglesey, so that's a Wales height map. And I'm just about to put some water in. So this is your water um, icon. Uh, you can set the sea level, move it up or down. That's a nice picture, actually, they have there. Um, and you can place water sources. So I'm going to place at least two water sources. I'm going to place one there, and I'm going to place one there. Um, I won't make it too big. It will show you how high the water will go. So for now, I'm just going to set it to this level. And I'm going to unpause the game and actually set it to top speed. So this water source will basically just throw out a lot of water, which will hopefully fill up the map. Um, probably not all of the map, but we can raise the sea level a little bit to get the sea in there. Yes, it is. Thanks. Awesome. I hope you're having a good one, and I hope you're going to have some cake, because that's, you know, part of every successful birthday ever. Cake. So as you can see, the river is now flowing. You have your overlay panel here as well. I haven't gone into that, but it's always useful to keep an eye on this to make sure you have a good flow of water where you want it to be. This is the same view that you can use in the city, um city builder part basically of the game. Uh, of course you have your uh, resources overview. We haven't placed any resources yet. You have your wind overview so it's quite windy in some areas so that's good. Um, outside connections which which we haven't put in and we have some terrain height visual visualization visualization <laughs> there so with the, the lighter areas being lower I guess the sea is just dark grey and then, I don't really know how this works, but well, it looks like just like a topography map overlay kind of thing. Anyway, I don't really use this a lot. Look at that water go! Look at it go. So it looks like it's actually going to flow this way, which is fine. As long as the current is strong enough, people will be able to build a, a sewage outflow pipes there. That should be good. You look like Lao, I'll take it. Alter's fantasy. No, don't. Visualization. It's a difficult word. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so it looks like this river is working. I wonder how far it's going to fill up the ocean. Probably not super far. Um, but that's fine. We can add some sea level. Sea level listener. Uh, sea levelness. That's not even a word. Is there a complaints department for this stream? Need to complain about a river through your house. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, there's no houses yet, so we'll just build your house in a different spot. It's fine. Okay, so it looks like it's not... Is it go? Yes, it is going in there. I was actually thinking of doing two uh, water sources, but if I would put one here now, the water would be kind of like messed up because it will go against itself there. That would create some weird situations, I guess. 
So the flow is not very strong there, but it is going, so... I can make this even lower to make sure it actually flows better in here. But the, the flow is quite strong there, this way, and it sort of peters out there when it gets to the ocean part of the map. Hey, criminal fetus, how you doing? Yes, go for it. The questions are welcome. What exactly disables in-game achievements? Will downloaded maps and growables disable them? I know for a fact that downloaded maps will not disable game achievements. Growables, um, I don't know. I don't think so. I think what disables it is the assets that have been created where you can um, assign uh, values for how much leisure people get or something, how much happiness. Because that can sort of basically really make it e very easy to get some achievements. But I have not tried to play with those yet. I just know for a fact that maps will not disable achievements. Like unlimited money, old buildings unlocked? Yeah, definitely. But also some others as well. So um, you may just have to try them and see. Hashtag new house confirmed. We'll build you a nice one. Cool, so... Looks like the water is actually trying to flow back on itself a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower this little inlet. Um, just go s pause it. Uh, I'm going to get a very low brush strength. I'm going to get my shift tool, which I haven't really used. Left click to raise, right click to lower, and I'm going to make the brush size quite small. Um, oh, I can't actually see anything. So we'll just have to hope it's actually lowering this part there. Looks like it's doing something. So hopefully if I lower this enough, I can actually just keep the water running and see if that helps at all. Of course it can't really go anywhere, so at some point it will start flowing back on itself, but... Yeah, this looks alright. Not so bad. Not too shabby, guys. There's a mod, Leaves Achievements Active, in the workshop that allows you to upgrade roads. I s yep, I saw that mod. Yep, that's a pretty good one. I'm hoping that it will become just a feature in the game instead of a mod, though. Even though it still enables achievements. So the water uh, flow is nice and strong here. Uh, you can build a dam if you want to, if you want to like play on this map. Uh, oceans are not filled yet, so let's do that now. Um, let's make this go a little bit slower. Click the move sea level, basically just click and hold your mouse. Move it up and down, that doesn't really seem to work. There we go, slowly. And we should have an ocean now. Wait, I did click it, didn't I? Yes! We have an ocean! There we go. Look at that. So we still have our water sources. Water flow still is going out there, but since we got the that um, sea level, the entire ocean seabed is um, covered in water now. Good! So that's our first, uh, first steps, basically, to creating this map. So just a quick recap of what I did. I imported the height map I made on the terrain.party website uh, into the map editor. Um, I then created some riverbeds, um, played with the smooth tool around the edges there. Welcome Yaron46, welcome to the Brainiacs and thank you for that follow. Um, I smoothed it, smoothed it? Smoothed the um, edges, the coast down a little bit to make it seem more realistic and then I added some water sources. It looks like we have a tiny island there. That's very cute. I wonder if that's enough space to build a road connection and one house. It could be awesome. Have you tried the train.party website? Yes, definitely. Ah, okay. I will go over that again, Criminal Fetus, in a little bit once I finish this map. Yes, I will do another one after this. 
Hey Mickey, how you doing? Um, I'm gonna take a really quick bathroom break. Um, I'm just gonna leave the map running. Um, and then when I come back, I'll um, show you the rest of the way. And then after we finish this one, I can do another one if you want. Hey Stelly. Okay, I'll be right back guys. Don't go anywhere. Hey Fulber Dad, how you doing? I'm on the first page! Awesome! <laughs> I shall lurk patiently while I resub to all the growables on Workshop. Awesome! Uh, I've only, so far I've only favorited them so I can find them easier but haven't actually subscribed to any of them. Hey Bra uh, Braumeister, how you doing? Okay, so we got our rivers and our ocean. We got some water flow. Um, What shall we do next? We can do trees or we can put some resources in. Actually, let's make a beach first. So to do a beach, uh, you go to the environment tab and the first one is your sand. Again, the same thing, brush size, uh, smaller for more precision and larger to just make larger areas. So what you want to do is just paint some beach on. It may still be a little bit too high, actually. Let's smooth it down a little bit. Um, I can do... I cannot do undo a thing. Let's see if we can make this very smooth. Auto demolish tool. I'm not a huge fan because it. Uh, I've I've not tried it out yet myself, but it's always useful to actually look at your um, abandoned buildings and see why they're abandoned. Because you may be able to fix the problem if you can see why it's abandoned. Staying up till two a.m. Wow. Oh, is it? That's a good tip. Um, JJ says, from what I can tell, if you turn off the mod and just load a game in which you used the mod before, you'll still unlock achievements, so it's still kind of easy to cheat. Oh, that's not... Well, cheating is not good, but... Okay, is this low enough for like, to make a beach? It still looks like it's kind of steep to be a, a beach. Let's increase that strength. There we go, okay, so this is starting to look more like a beach. Make it go into the ocean nicely, not too steep, like a real beach is. Beaches I know, anyway. Hey G Willikers, how you doing? Achievements aren't that hard to get. I've not actually tried for any- well I saw there was one where you had to click on a police station a hundred times so I did that just because, you know, I could. Cool, okay. And thanks you- thank you for that follow, Criminal Fetus. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. So let's get back to that sand. And Private Potato! That's a- that's a cool name. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying the first day of the week and thank you for following. And welcome to the Brainiacs! Grievous! <laughs> These names are amazing! Grievous Jedi! Welcome, welcome. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, so what I don't like about this is sort of the texture you get there right at the edge. Um, I haven't really figured out how to get rid of it. I don't think you really can get rid of it. Maybe with this? No. No, you'll always get that, apparently. So just paint on a beach. Easy as that. That's how beaches are made, kids. Someone just comes along with a giant sand brush. Doesn't that look like a place you would want to live at? Maybe not, but... Cool, so we have a nice beachy area. It's quite long. It doesn't have to be even everywhere. Unless you want it to, of course, then it needs to be even everywhere. Zoom in closely. It's still fairly steep for a beach. But it kind of works, doesn't it? Kind of. And try and slope it down a little bit more. So if you're uh, if you're going to play around with this um, map editor, I would advise you to read what the buttons do, because for most of these um, different actions, you have a left and a right click, which do different things, or like the effect is stronger for the right click than for the left click, stuff like that. So you may want to read those while you're doing that. Hadron Collider almost killed your city though. Really? I've never even gotten to that point of the game. I'm just smoothing out some more at the moment. So this will be nice. Players can build a sewage outflow right there which will then contaminate the entire beach if they want to. That's up to them. Dirt roads is best roads. You can have a 200k city with only dirt roads. Really? Wow. Yeah, I could like possibly change the brush size, as what Chaz says, to um, make these edges look nicer. But you will still always get a little bit of that pattern. Brush strength very low. That smooths it out a little bit, but not really. Not really. So that's unfortunate. I don't think there's really much you can do about that. That's just how it goes on. That's just how it goes on, unfortunately. Okay, that looks like a nice little beachy area. So remember kids, if you play on this map, please don't put a sewage pipe there. It will contam contaminate the entire beach. Probably. Because it will flow all the way out there and then maybe go through there. Don't know. Cool. Okay, so that's our beach. Every map needs a beach. The city with no cars, I saw that. Yeah, I saw it on Reddit. Offices only and proper subway, yeah, that helps. That will help, definitely. Uh, if someone could, pardon me, permit criminal fetus to post a link, that would be awesome. I'm gonna uh, go and plant some trees. Yes. So, I also need to think about if I want to play this map, where I would like to put my industry and all that. Um, this this will be our starting tile. I think this is a very good starting tile there to have right in the middle. Sometimes I choose a tile that's not in the middle, um, but has like a better water flow or something like that. The whole area of Anglesey is full of beaches and little coves. Nice! There's a lot of coves with beaches in them, such as Porth and then something I'm not going to pronounce because I'm not going to make a full out of myself. KW is here? Wow, hey KW. Master Lurker. 
so we have some nice areas there just to look at probably because you probably won't be able to build on these. I'm gonna plop some trees. Not plop them, brush them on, of course. Um, so when you're making a map, don't forget that you can actually, when you're building your town, look at the edges of the map. Even though you cannot build here, you can still see across. So it's nice to just not stop at the edges of where you can build, but actually go to the effort to actually add some stuff there as well. Just to make it look nicer. Uh, I'm gonna go for some trees with leaves. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, we have some conifers, pine trees. Conifer, wild conifer. We have some bushes. I like the older trees, and the beech trees are pretty cool too. Um, so I'm just gonna make a mix of them. Um, let's just do huge areas. Look at that. As you can see at the top, we have a tree counter. Um, because you have, there's a limit of how many trees you can actually plop on a map. I'm so glad I don't have to plop these by hand. Okay, uh, different type to mix, make it a little more dark green. sort of running out of trees already to plop. Halfway. This is a map with a lot of trees, so... Industry. Uh, lumber industry will be a very good idea on this map. I'm sure there's not actually this many trees in real life. So just go crazy with your brush. They won't end up in the sea. They do end up on the beaches, so we'll get rid of them there. Do a nice dark patch there, the edge of the map. I don't think I've ever put this many trees on a map, so we'll see how that will work out. Hey Novak, how you doing? How you doing? Say some Welsh place names. Never! <laughs> oh. Hey, Coloma Games, how are you doing? I'm done squeeing. I just squeed a little bit, like, before the stream, and I'm all done squeeing. Coloma, he sent me a picture of a kitten on Twitter, and it was very squee worthy. Cool, okay, so that beach obviously looks kind of ridiculous with all those trees. So the good thing of the tree brush is that right click will remove trees, as we will see now. Bye bye trees! No trees on the beach. I think I may plop some bushes as well. Not plop, brush them on, paint them on. And as you can see, the game will already uh, give you some different colored ones. I used this one, I think. Uh, you can get um, some brighter green and some darker green and some taller and some smaller, which is good. Um, I'm going to get some bushes in there. They count as trees as well. Okay, so this is a heavily forested map. We're at nearly 200,000 trees on this map. Especially this part will be very good for uh, forestry industry. We can plop a few of these. That will make it look nice. Ooh, very pretty. I like the variety of trees there. Oh man. I hope people's computers will be able to handle it when all these trees are rendered. Awesome. Good. Look at that. That's all our trees in. Who would not want to live here, right? This is lovely. 
So calm and quiet. Got a nice river there. It's almost like we're going on a boat trip, isn't it? And they go right up onto the water's edge. I could remove all of them that are too close to the water's edge, but I don't really mind. I will share the map. Yes, full board out, I will. Novak is trying ETS2 mods. Nice, which ones are you trying? And then we have our beach area right there. Looks nice, doesn't it? I'm pretty pleased with this so far. Mm, let me get some water. You missed out? Oh, Kaluma. Thanks for criminal features. I like I um I appreciate that you saying that. I really like streaming, so it's always nice when people tell me they like the channel. 